Welcome everyone to one more session from Edignite NGO. In this particular session, we are going to look at image gradient functions. Now, what are gradient functions and what is exactly the use of gradient functions? Gradient functions are basically used to, used to identify the edges and contours of an image. Okay, So, they are specifically used for identifying edges and contours and perform different different operations over them okay so how to identify these uh, these these all the edges these sharp edges for that we we just we just need to use three types of three types of operations okay there are there are several types of operations but the famous ones are the laplacian operation and the sobel operation Okay, so actually these Laplacian and Sobel operation, they just detect the directional change of the gradient. Okay, so suppose we something goes from red pixel to black pixel, it will detect the edge, edge of that particular gradient. So it will, it will detect the direction of, of a particular image gradient. So let us uh, first of all let us uh, import import CV2 library and yes if you want more such videos from Edignite NGO please subscribe to the channel. So import CV2 as CV and import NumPy as NP. I don't know if we are going to use it but we will just import it first. Okay. So we have imported two uh, two libraries over here and over here we will just read an image okay so cv dot i am read and over here i will give the thumbnail image okay img data img data and then i will just write over here input input and then we will give th1 dot png th1 dot png the image is very big and yes we also need to convert it into a grayscale image okay so all the operations over here will get operated over a grayscale image okay we because we need to detect the gradient and it should be mono uh, monochrome monochromatic sorry it's monochromatic so it's it should be monochromatic so we have converted it to grayscale and then we will resize it so cv dot resize img and then i will just give the resize pixel so 640 into 360 640 into 360 360 okay so we have a grayscale image whoops we need to write cv dot resize okay so it's cv dot resize and then we will just uh, write cv dot weight key cv dot weight key and cv dot destroy destroy all windows windows okay cv dot destroy all windows and then we will we will show an image over here okay so i have just forgot to put i am show cv dot i am show and then we will we will write img image and img img okay so we need to have cv dot i am show okay we don't have any errors for now so let us run the code so this is our image okay this is our grayscale image let me close it now we will perform we will perform laplacian operation over here okay so here we will perform the laplacian gradient and for laplacian gradient we need to write we need to have lat lap equal to cv dot laplacian okay so we have laplacian what it will do is it will operate okay it will convert this or it will transform the pixels into laplace it will perform laplace transformation over the pixels and it will store that in an array okay it will store that in an array and then we will get some edges over from there okay so cv dot laplacian so we have cv dot laplacian first of all we need to give source so source is image and then we need to give depth okay so the depth of that particular image okay first of all we need to give the d depth okay so for that we need to have cv 
cv dot then we will give cv underscore cv underscore 64 f okay so cv underscore 64 f so what will be if if someone asks that what can be the value okay what can be the value okay i need to i need to give okay i will give a comma over here so if, if someone asks that what will be the data type for for the negative value then the data type will be cv underscore 64 f okay and then we can also give kernel size okay kernel size is an optional parameter so if we don't give it then also it's fine so if we give kernel size as 3 or let me give kernel size as 0 okay and then we will show the Laplacian function over here. Okay. So I have saved it and now let us run the code. Okay. So we have an error over here. Okay. We have we have one of the arguments value is out of range. So kernel size can be equal to 1. Okay. And then you can see that we have got our edges over here. Okay, we have got our edges, but we have a lot of noise outside it. Okay, in the yes, in the background, we we have uh, an image of laptop. So here we, we can see the edges. Okay, of that particular thing. Okay, so this is this is our image. This is our image where we have we have all the edges okay we have got all the edges so there there is some amount of noise over here okay there's some amount of noise over here so how to reduce it okay for reducing it for reducing it we can also use the sobel operation okay so first one so we have two types of operation that is sobel x and sobel y so sobel underscore x what it will do is it will transfer traverse the kernel in the x direction okay so we will get somewhat vertical lines over there okay so let me just write sobel x and we can write cv dot sobel sobel okay cv dot sobel and then in sobel we can give first of all we will give the image so we need to give the source then we need to give the the data type of negative value okay so i will just give the data type of negative value and then we we need to give we need to give the x and y okay so x can be 1 y can be 0 okay if we want to traverse through x direction so here we have 1 and for y we have 0 and then we can give the the kernel size okay so the kernel size equal to k size k size equal to 2 equal to 2 okay and for your information if we have a lot of noise if we have a lot of noise then we can also convert the laplacian operators into a positive array so we can just write np dot okay np dot and we can give uh, np dot u int okay so u int okay we need to uh, convert we can convert this into an integer array okay and then we can write np dot absolute absolute okay np dot absolute and in np dot absolute we can give our image okay or we can give our laplacian lap okay so the laplacian transformation will get into the absolute to get only the positive values and np dot u into will give only the integer values okay so this way we can perform uh, we can have an integer array okay only integer array okay we we have uh, we we have uh, an error over here okay so value is out of range okay the kernel size should be odd okay so remember to give odd size to kernel okay so over here i have given the odd size and you can see that we have some edges okay we have the edges now we have some of the edges that are clearly defined okay over here we have edges that are somewhat clearly defined but we don't have we we, we don't have that uh, clear edges over there okay so we use the sobel operation okay and then 
similarly we will convert the sobel operation okay so sobel equal to np np dot u int unsigned int 8 unsigned int 8 and then we will give np dot absolute okay np dot absolute 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 np dot absolute and over here we will just write sobel underscore x underscore x okay and then we will give sobel underscore x over here sobel underscore x okay so this is sobel underscore x we will just run our code and you can see that we have we have all the vertical lines differentiate more differentiation of vertical lines actually okay so this was about sobel x and now we will look at sobel y okay so oh, let me just copy it and paste it below so let me let us look at sobel y okay so let me just type sobel y and over here at x x value we will give 0 and at y we will give 1 okay and here we will give sobel y okay over here also we will give sobel y okay we will save it and then we will run the code and you can see that you have more of horizontal lines over here okay so as it performs it it traverses in y direction we have more of horizontal lines that are differentiated okay so that was about sobel x and sobel y operation now let me just uh, let me just change the kernel size from 3 to 5 and let me look at the code you can see that we have a more distorted image over here right so let this be one okay so we will just use one over here and look at it you have you don't have anything okay over here you have more of information leak, leak okay so you can just uh, resort to three okay the kernel size is three so you can have an optimum image okay an optimum image or an optimum result actually of the image now this was about sobel x and sobel y function what if both the functions both sobel x and sobel y images are combined yes we can combine them okay so we will just see sobel equal to cv okay cv and we will use the bitwise or operator okay so let me use the bitwise or operator source one can be sobel x sobel underscore x and source two can be sobel underscore y sobel underscore y and over here just sobel okay and then we will save it and run the code okay so you can see that now this thing looks pretty good okay we have pretty good differentiation of images over here so we will just look at it we will look at the things in a for loop okay so for we will write for i in range okay for i in range 4 for i in range 4 we will we will give let me give a pass function over here and we will write again images images okay images equal to and first of all we will have img as image then we will have sobel x okay first then we will have laplacian lap then we can have sobel underscore x and sobel underscore y okay sobel underscore y okay we can also have sobel combined over here okay so let me have sobel combined so sobel okay simply sobel so we have all these things over here okay and then we have these images and we have titles okay so titles titles okay so we will write original original okay original image then we will give the title as lap lap then we will give title as sobel x sobel x then sobel y okay so sobel y sobel y then we will give as sobel combined okay so sobel c sobel sobel c okay so we have given all the titles and all the images okay and for i in range 5 
for i in range 5 we have plt dot subplot plt dot subplot okay sub plot plt dot subplot where we have two rows three columns oops it's two rows okay so over here we have two rows three columns and the number of of that that particular subplot will be i plus one so it will go from one two three four and five then we will have plt dot i am show plt dot i am show function over here okay and here in plt dot i am show we will give images okay so let let me give images 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 and in images we will give images comma i and it will be in gray format okay then we will we will just give plt dot title title equal to will be t-i-t-l-e titles titles and over here i okay so title at i -th index and then we will write we will write plt dot x sticks first of all let me import pi plot okay so i can i can remove the errors prevent the errors actually matplotlib from matplotlib import pi plot as plt import matplotlib import pi plot pi plot as as plt okay from matplotlib import pyplot as plt and now we don't have any errors plt dot x sticks okay plt dot x sticks and over here an empty array okay and similarly for plt dot y ticks okay so we will just write plt dot y ticks and if you don't know anything about matplotlib and then you can see one short tutorial on matplotlib from Ignite NGO channel okay so we will just type plt dot show okay plt dot show and let me comment this out okay so i will just comment all these things out okay so we have all these images over here i will save it and then run the code okay you can see that we have five images over here i will just remove this okay First of all, this is our original image, then we have Laplacian, then we have Sobel X, then we have Sobel Y, and then we have Sobel combined. Okay, we have Sobel combined. You cannot see much difference as there are if the images are very small. Okay, over here, images are very small, but you will see, you will definitely see difference when you when you do it by yourself. Okay. So this was about this was about the images okay the gradient transformation in images let me have one more image okay so over here let me let me have child image okay i will write child img child img dot jpeg okay jpeg child img dot jpeg I will comment this thing out okay i will comment this thing out and then run the code okay so you see that i have an image of child okay i have an image of child where let me just remove this okay so where we ha i i have uh, very uh, uh, very light contours okay so let me just increase the kernel size to 5 let me increase the kernel size to 5 over here and 5 over there okay and now let me just uh, run the code okay and then you can see that i have a differentiation over here this is laplacian this is sobel x okay and this is sobel y you can see over here the vertical lines and the horizontal and you can see horizontal as well as vertical differentiation over here okay so this was about this was about the gradient transformation in in images gradient gradient operation in images so that's it for this particular session thank you everyone